It's time for Powerhouse Picks presented by Aristocrat Gaming. And today we're talking about powerhouse offenses that we want to take a shot at in our fantasy drafts. And certainly you could choose from any of the four teams in the AFC West. So, Rank, when you are circling an offense that you're trying to target, uh, is one of those teams on the screen the one that you're looking at? You know what, Marcus? I'm going to go ahead and yield my time. I don't want to give away any more trade secrets because somebody sitting next to me, I've been talking about this team for a number of weeks, and then all of a sudden we're in a draft on Sunday night, and here comes Michael F. Florio, the guy you would never expect to take Justin Jefferson, number one. He's like, oh, I'm going to take Justin Jefferson. Oh, where did you get that idea? Oh, where did that come from? Oh, look at this. So I hate to say it, but you know, you know, roll the video. I don't want to see Michael's face anymore as I talk about the Minnesota Vikings, a team I definitely want to fire in this season. I'm going to have one of the, I'm going to have either Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, or Justin Jefferson. And let's be honest, this offense has been pretty good over the last number of years. They lead the NFL with 248 big plays since 2020. But now you bring in Kevin O'Connell from the Los Angeles Rams. That is going to have a dynamic effect. We're trying to find the next Cooper Cup. Why not Justin Jefferson being in this offense? He's already shading Cooper Cup. Talking about like, now I see why this guy who I don't think is very good is always open. Dalvin Cook. Look at what Todd Gurley did in his first season with Sean McVay. Had a huge breakout year. And Kirk Cousins was already pretty good. I know that I sit here. I make jokes about him all the time. All three of these guys are poised for monster seasons. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I made the right pick the other day taking Justin Jefferson first overall, but it was worth it purely for that reaction alone. <laughs> but if you're not going after Vikings, I suggest you go after the Cardinals offense. Last season, they had the second most games scoring 30 plus points, and they finished top 10 in total yards per game and offensive points per game. And the best part is they are a more affordable stack than the Bills, Chargers, Chiefs, but you still get a good offense and better yet, you get one that we know the pass volume is gonna be funneled through the top fantasy options. So Kyler Murray, James Conner, Marquise Brown, Zach Ertz, I'll take any and all of them on my fantasy team. In that same draft where Florio went Jefferson one overall, my first round pick was Jamar Chase. And then I was able to stack him with Joe Burrow. That's where I'm talking about the Bengals because this is an offense that really is, we saw it rise last year. I think it's only going to get better. You saw Rank talk about Jamar Chase being a surge in the opening segment of this show. I was able to do the triple stack with Chase, Burrow, and Tyler Boyd. There's still T Higgins. There's still Joe Mixon. You're going to go after this Bengals offense heavy and early in a lot of your drafts and I think they're going to pay dividends because I think there really still is room for this group to grow. We're taking a quick break, but when we return, we'll switch over to the defensive side of the ball. How should fantasy managers approach the elusive DST spot on 